Hey guys, welcome back to Fly Tying Tuesday. Today we're gonna do a fun one for you, super quick. Uh, in fact, that's kind of the whole point of this one. We're just gonna call it the 60 second midge. I'm not reinventing the wheel here. I understand this is a little bit gimmicky, but there's kind of a backstory to it. Um, I found myself the night before trips, a lot of the time wanting a certain pattern or certain color or something that I needed for the next day. Um, and a pattern that seemed to fill that void every time that I could tie a ton of in whatever color and size I needed was this guy. And it's basically a zebra midge with a little bit of loose dubbing behind the bead there. Um, I'm gonna provide you with some generic stuff, uh, specs that you can use. Any hook really um, that has kind of a nymph emerger profile to it. Uh, this is the Firehole 316 in a size 16. That bead is a countersunk tungsten bead uh, in a 332nd size, and it's the silver. Uh, that's kind of what I like for, you know, what you know what we think maybe is happening is it seems kind of uh, like maybe that hydrogen bubble that an emerger may put off or uh, just a little bit of flash and razzle-dazzle. Who knows what the fish think about it, um, but it's a confidence pattern for me. And then that dubbing is some Kaufman SLF dubbing in the dark stone. And then the rib is just a Semperfly tying wire, uh, 0.2 millimeter. And then the thread is UTC 70 denier in light olive. Again, the whole point of this fly for me is that I can vary up the colors of all of those things as well as the size to get whatever bug I need to do a trip the next day and have a bunch of them ready to go. Um, so we're calling it the 60 second midge. I'm gonna get everything set up and hit the timer and we'll see if we can actually make that come true for you guys. So the, the point being is if you prepped all this stuff out, had it ready, lined up, and you needed to tie a dozen, it shouldn't take it too long. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, see if we can make it 60 second midge. We have our hook and bead in the vise. We got a minute on the clock. Let's see if we can actually make this a 60 second midge. And remember, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> okay, uh, there you have it, uh, right on the dot, 60 seconds. Um, I know this is a little bit gimmicky, but the point being is if it's the night before a trip or the morning of a trip and you want to vary up the size, the color, bead, wire, dubbing, thread, configuration on this, it's really easy to do so based on whatever you know might be going on uh, that next day on the water um, and just tie up a bunch of these guys and have some good ammunition to, to take out there and, and throw. So there you have it, 60 second midge. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.